three-man attack and defend from there. When the ball does come break down, clear your lines. If Rangers clear their lines, they can get the ball upfield to hate the injury. They're playing quite well with a limited amount of service at the moment. If the, if the right balls are up for those front men, they can hold it up and then Rangers can, can, can get out. They don't want to push out too far because any space that they do leave behind, these long balls are dangerous. Well, here comes Punas. Challenge by Miller. He comes to off. This is Charlie Miller. And uh, he's well challenged. Punas again. Gogi. Caught there though by McCall, who's anchored in midfield. McCall again. doing it. Sounds like Kiri Akoff and eventually giving away the free kick. Well, uh, David Robertson had moved forward on the left, but uh, he picked out a call. There. Time a call. So the home fans unhappy as the ball is sent by out of play. Stephen Wright there, the recent signing from Aberdeen. 1.5 million pounds. The referee had just uh, had a picture come over to throw a bottle from the field that had been uh, pitched on from where the an officer's fans are. An empty one there, I might, might add. Yeah. This is Castanas. An officer's have to do something soon to get this uh, this crowd alight. Time running away from them. And what a mighty relief it will be to Rangers if they can go through in the 90 minutes after the happenings of recent years the record has not been at all good too many first round exits so just 10 minutes left and uh, the referee has in fact uh, took his time about that but uh, he's given the free kick to an officer so 10 minutes between Rangers and the place at Europe's top table Castanis uh, has moved forward to carry the threat in the air. He's in the thick of it there. Hastily there too, but uh, the referee spots an infringement and awards the free kick to Rangers. Well, it was on about uh, Rangers' record a moment ago in the last six seasons. They've had four first round exits and one second round, and uh, that only came about, I think, because the Maltese opposition in the, the first uh, round. But of course, they had that uh, splendid run in 1992-93 when they reached uh, what was effectively a semi-final against Marseille. Uh, the winner that night in the velodrome would have uh, gone into the final in the event of finishing a draw in Marseille. They went through after the final game of the section. And of course, after all the kinds of doubts expressed about the way they got there. So we're looking under the bridge now and uh, Rangers have a fresh chance. And they're just minutes away from what could be very good autumn. And as we saw Terry in the Champions League, uh, they did tend to raise their games the better the opposition. Well, I think so, was it? And also, is it uh, one into the season as well? So uh, and it does give them a bit more time to get a bit of form and, and get some, some passes going together. But uh, at the moment, you know, they're, they're doing so well at the moment to contain these uh, tribute teams. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the tribute players are you know, just. Especially if Gore Gitz gets on the ball, that's, uh, he's the one man that probably, you know, could threaten to unlock that range of defence. It's true to be quite tight tonight. So, eight minutes left. No scoring on the night. Gideon Kulf trying to get forward. Durant challenges well, and he wins the throw in. The ball deflecting off uh, one of the unofficial players, and uh, you can see they're not happy about it. Gore Gitz there. Expressing his doubts about the referee's decision. So they're definitely getting frustrated, the Cypriot players. Panayi, Stavrou. Kodorov dropping deep, shadowed by McCall. He gets uh, awarded against the Rangers midfielder. If you're going to make a challenge, that's the place to make it from the opposition half. Uh, Kodorov wastes no time, he's looking for Gogic, uh, Goff climbs well, Robertson gets it away, done by Panayi, Kirikov tries to 
control and shield the ball and uh, the free kick is given against uh, Charlie Miller and uh, Miller actually reckons that uh, an officer is uh, trying to take unfair advantage here and he calls for it to be retaken Kiriakos who plays it through headed away by Stephen Wright this is Durant who just gets the nearest touch and it's enough to Haitley Durant again caught no by Tuna Disappointed by Kodorov. Robertson. Judy's back there helping as well. Stavru stabs it through. And McLaren makes the challenge. This is Puna. Looking for Toma, the substitute. Two substitutes involved there, but uh, that ball goes behind for the goal kick and uh, McLaren has uh, said something to the referee now and uh, he's been shown the yellow card Rangers picking up some unnecessary bookings in this preliminary round and uh, could be costly for them later on the ball just uh, let a play as the substitute chase that uh, Richard Goff was there and uh, Petrich, in fact, and uh, McLaren said something to the referee and was immediately yellow carded. This is Durant, and uh, Rangers get the free kick this time. Now, for a few against them. Oh, just telling uh, Durant to keep it calm. And uh, Goff, in fact, decides not to push forward this time. Played shot to Robertson. He plays in the middle. Jury's in the penalty area. Charlie Miller's up there as well. If Haitley can get a touch here, there's a chance on for Miller, but uh, the ball just drifts away from him. And uh, Panayotu wastes no time. That's a Kiriakov. call. Played off to Andreu. There are five minutes left in this Champions Cup tie. Rangers five minutes away from the Champions League. This is Todorov. Across comes Robertson, using his pace, getting in just ahead of uh, Andros Panayotu. Todorov, shielding the ball from McCall, and the free kick is awarded. Yeah, three giving a, a high number of uh, free kicks in the second half, and uh, he wants this one retaken. Andy Gorham and the defender to do Richard Goff getting a close watch on things Gorham commits himself and that's good handling by the Rangers goalkeeper with just under four minutes left and uh, you can see Gogic's there giving a pat in the head to Gorham and uh, one professional to another that was a good catch by Gorham that's all you want as a central defender under a bit of pressure the goalkeeper coming out got even a ball like that relieves the pressure gets Rangers up into the other end of the pitch now the concentration factor that we talked about before, even more importantly than ever, this win Todd off the round. You never know what he's going to do in the last minute, but uh, four minutes away, three minutes away from glory. And of course, the ever present threat of Doggy. And I uh, have to mention Kiriakov, who's put a point of second half. This is Castana. Just the challenges. There are three minutes left. The Norfolk is nil, Rangers nil. Rangers lead one nil in aggregate. It's Gogi. That's six challenges. Of course now to Castana. And uh, Stavru, the marker moves forward. That's him there, getting the touch through to Kiriakov. And McCall gets it away from the danger area. Picked up by Panayi. Rangers getting everyone behind the ball. So this is something that uh, an officer uh, did to them at Ibrox. And uh, Petrich attacks that one well. Good play by Petrich. He's got no one with him. He stumbles. And it's Panayi who comes in. But uh, Petrich read that situation very quickly indeed. And he's so good at uh, moving out of defence. 
And that's, again, a something Rangers lacked in the first leg. And if you play this system, you need a player that can break from the back, and he can certainly do that. But are under two minutes left now. Still nil-nil. Kostanis, Kiriakos, lead off by further off. This is Panayotu. Further off again. Davru comes through. This is Kunas. And it's away by Robertson. And the home crowd are unhappy. But in fairness to them, not one has left the ground. This is uh, Gogi. And it's cut out by Durant. The break's on here. Gordon Jury breaks away down the left-hand side of the field. Durant strikes it wide up. He's spotted Jury now. Still at Durant. Shoot McCall comes through the middle in a run. And it's uh, Panayi who comes clear with the ball. It was Kastana who made the challenge. Now it's Kiriakov. We're inside the final minute of the match. Play through towards Toma. Well cut out by Petric. So Rangers so close now to a place with the likes of Ajax, Real Madrid, Juventus, Porto, Borussia Dortmund. All big names. And they've already been seeded. And the draw comes on Friday in Switzerland. But here's that man Todd off. Rangers know all about him in the last minute of games. There will be a bit of stoppage time. There have been a few injuries in the second half. That's McCall playing it through to Jury. He plays in the middle, very much on his own. It's all about keeping possession now. Concentration. McLaren. Durant. Charlie Miller gets into space and calls for it. Stephen Wright runs in support. That's a good ball. By Miller, we move into stoppage time now. Hatley comes in, the ball spins high into the air. And that's a free kick to Rangers. Uh, Toma, the substitute, holding on to the jersey of Charlie Miller. So another few vital seconds will be wasted in Rangers, uh, sending on a substitute as well. Ali McCoy is out there on the touchline, and Gordon Jury. He's done a lot of running for Rangers tonight. Uh, leaves the field. So Ali McCoy, uh, who came on and scored for Scotland a week ago tonight. Well, we can't expect them to do it again, but uh, if Rangers can just hold on to things, they'll be quite happy. Ian Durant uh, is limping as well, and uh, he's heading over towards the touchline. So Neil Murray is uh, preparing to come on, who gained a fair bit of experience during the Champions League season. So that's the substitutions done and dusted. I think Ali McCoy is dragged back into the dugout there. Uh, Gordon Jury stayed on the part, they just had the one substitution. So, a change of mind there by Walter Smith. And a few more seconds uh, wasted. And the flag is up, meanwhile, against uh, Hatley. And there goes the final whistle. So at last, Rangers, after scenes of disappointment, go through to the Champions League. And the Rangers players immediately run over towards their supporters to take a bow. Well, they were in the kind of situation tonight that uh, people will say, OK, it was only separate opposition, but this was a difficult tie. There were Bulgarian players in that lineup. They made it difficult at Ibrox. But Rangers have come through this night in a highly professional manner. Andy Gorham is quite delighted with himself. A final word from Terry Butcher. Well, Rangers must feel very proud to get through as they've uh, had a very difficult task. I've seen some part-timers and obviously the Bulgarians in this uh, Cypriot team, but uh, the Samagusa team made it very hard for Rangers. They worked hard. They got into some good positions. Rangers did have the best play on the pitch in the night, I felt, and that was Charlie Miller. Yeah, whether it was in his own box or whether it was in the opponent's box, could and should have scored at least three goals. But I thought, you know, the spirit of uh, Charlie Miller, it really typified the spirit of Rangers. Well done, Rangers. The final score here, an officer's nil, Rangers nil, Rangers through 1-0 in aggregate.